Thank you, Mr. President. It's important to ask whether the policies pursued by Europe are capable of serving our interests and bringing the war to an end. It is now clear that they are not. Even the IMF is forecasting that Russia's economic growth will overtake Germany, Europe's largest economy, both this year and in 2024 too. While this war is the worst thing that could happen to Europe, almost every politician is speaking about that was unprovoked. But do you know that the Ukrainian government continues to remove monuments, flags, texts, and they ban the use of minority languages in education and in public administration, terrorize minority community leaders as they do to Hungarians, and at the same time, they expect the support of Hungary. The best thing we can do for the people threatened by war is to make an end to the conflict immediately. People, Europe is now losing Russia, one of its most important export markets and one of its most reliable suppliers of cheap energy and raw materials, without which its competitiveness on the world market will be severely damaged. This certainly cannot be in Europe's interests. Let me also say a few words as a mother of four children about the issue of demography, which is the most important in the 21st century for Europe. We can only preserve our country if we focus on supporting the families living there. But with such demographic indicators, public finances will supply simply become unsustainable in a short time. For me, it is, it is unacceptable to replace children who should be born in Hungary with migrants from other cultures. There are many illegal attempts to break into my country every day, which endanger and the safety and even the lives of the police officers protecting our border. So our citizens' security and future have to be the most important for us.